Thank you for joining us. We're at reInvent 2023. My name is Jay Clifford, a developer advocate for Influx Data. I'm here with Ben Corbett, a solutions engineer. Ben, we're talking about cold storage. So my first question for you is, what exactly is cold storage? Yeah, so um, cold storage is a term used to describe a database solution or tier which is typically where you store data that you don't touch very often. So a hot storage tier will be something that you access very frequently. So maybe it's propping up an application that your users access directly every day or every leading hour. Leading edge. Yeah, yeah leading right. edge data. Whereas a cold storage solution is something that, you know, you want a practical and economical solution to store a vast amount of historic data, typically for a very long time. Right, yeah. got it. So, so why is this so necessary to a customer? So I guess as the, pool of data that customers has access to is growing like you know there's so many things now that allow you to capture loads of data you need to find a really practical and economic way to store that data for a long period of time this can typically be driven by uh, you know analytical requirements so your data science team wants access to 10 years worth of high granularity data and you need to find a way that's not going to break the bank to be able to store that um, or you know one of the things that we see often is that there's regulatory requirements that require custom uh, customers to store data for five years or 10 years something like that right I could imagine that literally a customer going to them and going I want my five years worth of data yep. show me an error that happened at this point in time yeah and yeah. I, one thing that we did see quite a lot that's that was that customers were actually building their own cold storage tier alongside InfluxDB. And it always right. pained me as a technical resource to see customers moving that data out purely for commercial reasons. Yeah. Yeah, literally a homegrown solution when there didn't need yep. to be one, so we could develop it. Love it. So how, with 3.0, how did we implement cold storage then? How does it work? Yeah, so I guess where previous editions of InfluxDB were just that hot database access tier or a single access tier, now we've incorporated object storage. So as data is written into the database, um, it's relatively immediately compacted down into parquet files sat in object storage. Gotcha. Um, so, you know, customers are able to take advantage of the unit cost benefit associated with low cost object storage, allowing to store data for a very, very long time. Incredible, and Parquet is an open standard, so I'm sure we'll have a video later that shows interacting directly with Oh Parquet, yeah, it's, right? it's becoming an industry standard for data warehousing solutions. So um, yeah, keeping those data scientists happy. Incredible. Well, thank you so much, Ben. This is us at reInvent. We cannot wait to see what you do with InfluxDB 3.0.